Time now is 8:17. D.C. police have identified a man who was shot and killed Saturday in an officer-involved shooting. It happened moments after police say the man was involved in a drive-by shooting along Georgia Avenue in Northwest. Fox Size Marine Ume is live at police headquarters in Northwest this morning with the latest. Marine, good morning. Good morning. Police have identified him as 31-year-old Kevin Hartgrave Sherrod of Southeast D.C. They say he did not comply with commands to drop his gun when they chased him to the area where he was shot, and that is when an officer opened fire, shooting one shot, and uh, eventually Kevin ended up dying at a hospital. This is how the scene unfolded, police describing it to us. They say it happened at 200 block of Madison Street near Fort Slocum Park around 4 p.m. Saturday. Police tweeted a picture of the gun they say that Hartgrave Sherrod had. They say the entire incident began when they initially responded responded to reports of a shooting on Georgia Avenue and Longfellow Street. They say two vehicles heading northbound on Georgia Avenue opened fire on a group walking along Longfellow Street. That group reportedly returned fire. Two people in the group were wounded and later taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Here is the assistant chief describing more of what happened. Citizens called in a vehicle with multiple guns being brandished. When the officer exited his vehicle, he engaged an armed man gave a command uh, that those commands were not complied with and he discharged his weapon one time, striking that individual. Police say a white sedan that was seen during that shooting fled the area. Police pursued it to nearby Madison Street where the confrontation between the officer and Hartgrave Sher took place and then the shooting happened. Police say other people in the white sedan had already fled the scene when the confrontation took place. They are now looking for the white sedan's passengers and also two dark sedans that may have also been involved with the shooting on Georgia Avenue. Now police are asking anyone with information about the shooting to give them a call. Keep in mind, the shooting comes in the banks are let rather on the heels of a slew of other shootings since Wednesday. Police say that so far there have been 16 shootings, 24 victims, five people dead in this violence. Back to you.